new information about Ascension. And that's what we're talking about today. So let's roll. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And I'm Angela's sidekick, Damian Barton. And today we're going to be talking about Ascension again. Again. However, before we get started, make sure you hit that like button and most importantly, subscribe to my channel, folks. I'm trying to hit 10,000 by year's end. We can do it. We can do it. With your help. With your help. All right. So Damien and I have done numerous videos on Ascension over the last few months. And every time we go down that way, we take drone footage and we thought it would be kind of cool to kind of show you or share with you the update of what's going on with Ascension and the drone footage, right? Mm. Um, so some of this may be already repeat of what we've said in the past. However, you know, if you haven't seen the past videos, then this is great information for you now. Yes. Right? As you know, Ascension, we thought, was a new village in Summerlin. However, it's really a neighborhood in Summerlin, and it's part of the Peaks Village. Now, nowhere on Summerlin's website or online has any information about the peaks, right? Um, the only thing that we do know is that when you look at one of the signs, it'll say Ascension, mm -hmm. Toll Brothers, and at the bottom, it'll say the peaks. So what I did was I emailed my Pulte rep and said, hey, I'm confused. Is Ascension the village or is the peaks the village? And she said she's just as confused as I am. She had to change a lot of her marketing materials because there is no real information about the Peaks. Um, also on Toll Brothers' website, it does say part of the Peaks Village, but it doesn't go into detail about what the Peaks is. So it doesn't make sense to call it the Peaks Village and then call it Ascension, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. It's very confusing, and as you know, even the sales reps are confused. <laughs> so as time progresses, we may have more updated information on both of this, the Peaks and the Ascension, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Both Pulte and Toll Brothers will soon be doing, they're actually taking interest lists right now, and they will be doing pre-sales pretty soon. Uh, when we were there, it looks like they're really focusing on the models, um, and we saw a lot of homes being built in little pockets, right? Mm -hmm. Throughout that little Ascension area. Um, so it was pretty neat to see the progress since the last time we went there, right? Um, so this village is around 261 acres, and there's going to be a total of 561 homes. Um, it will be guard-gated community, and from what I understand, they both will share their own community center. Mm -hmm. So imagine, in my opinion, you combine Mesa Ridge and Reverence together, and you get Ascension. Yeah, that's, that's a really how good, I look yeah, at it. Good combo. <laughs> because both Mesa Ridge and Reverence have beautiful community centers, um, lots of amenities as well. So to me, it's just a combination of the two melded together and they formed one. Mm. Right. Um, so as time progresses and as more information is released, obviously we will share it with you guys. Mm -hmm. We'll keep you updated. Yes. We may have gone over this before in the past, but we're going to go over... Um, the type of floor plans that each community will have. First, we're going to go over in Pulte. And Pulte is going to have 286 lots with three different collections. You're going to have the Cap Rock at Ascension, Incline at Ascension, and the Point at Ascension. Okay. Now they're going to have 11 new luxury homes. And Pulte is still deciding on what to really price them. Um, but the crazy thing is both Pulte and Toll Brothers, they're starting in the million dollar range. Pricey. It's very expensive. Okay. Um, now, these are not luxury. They are luxury homes, but they're not custom or semi-custom homes. These are, what do you call them? Cookie cutter Co homes. Yeah, it's standard. They're standard cookie cutter homes. Um, but the Toll Brothers community is going to look more like Mesa Ridge. And also the Pulte community is going to look more like reverence so that's why i had to mesh them together and think it's you know all in one mm -hmm. right so the pulte homes they will range in size between 2297 square feet to 4500 square feet 
and all three communities will be guard gated and there is a planned clubhouse. Now again, I think this clubhouse is gonna be shared with the Toll Brothers. So you have Caprock at Ascension. I'm not gonna go over the specifics on the sizes of each of the floor plans. So in this community, they're gonna have three unique two-story home designs that range in size between 3981 to 4530 square feet. And the floor plans they're gonna have in this one is the Pacero, the Lucera, and the Vittoria. Now these models are also found and the Pacero, I do believe, was at um, Val Ridge. And then the Victoria is found at Carmel Cliff. Now, from what I understand, they're going to be pricing these in the mid-million dollar range. And these are the bigger homes. Mm -hmm. like over 4,000 square feet. On yes. That. Yeah. yeah. So Incline and Ascension is gonna be all single story homes that range in size between 2297 square feet to 2466 square feet. And these are supposedly gonna be priced in the low million dollar range. And the floor plans that they will have here is the Garden Gate, Park Lane, Genoa, and Cessna. So Garden Gate, Park Lane are very popular floor plans by Pulte Homes. You can find them pretty much anywhere. And then the Cessna is found at Carmel Cliff as well. And last is the point at Ascension, and these are gonna be all single-story homes, and these are gonna be larger single-story homes that range in size between 3,475 square feet to 4,006 square feet, so they're mm -hmm. bigger. Good space. And the floor plans that they have is the Royalty, the Dignitary, the King's Gate, and the Luminary. I do believe the King's Gate was at reverence at one point in time, and these are also gonna start in the mid-million dollar range. However, that has not been confirmed, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. They're still deciding what to price all of these homes. So in a way, it's kind of crazy to think that these type of homes and back in 2017 when reverence was built were in the six seven hundred thousand dollar range mm -hmm. now they've doubled in price yeah if you think mm -hmm. about it mm -hmm. they have yeah um then we're going to go over to toll brothers at ascension and they have released their prices now where toll brothers ascension is there's this big square pad in the middle of the community and um a YouTuber was debating with me saying that it was part of the water district. Mm -hmm. I was saying, no, that's going to be the community center. But he did prove to me that it actually is something related to the water district. Love to you. Thank you for that. Yeah. But the thing is, is why do you have this big old square thing in the middle <laughs> of a multi-million dollar community? Mm -hmm. You know, who's going to want to buy? And we've showed you, Joan, for, you know, pictures of it. Why? Who wants to live in there, right? And this community they're gonna have 274 lots with also three different collections to choose from and they range in size between 3415 to 5,000 square feet um, which is pretty interesting mm -hmm. and their first collection is Ridgeline and they're gonna have 74 single-story homes that range in size between 3415 to 3615 square feet um, and you know there are gonna be more of the, what's called a mix of modern, mid-century modern and desert contemporary modern, just like Mesa Ridge. And participating pricing in this community is gonna be at 1.4 million. The floor plans they're gonna have here is called the Satinwood, the Silverstone, and the Sunfire. Those are gonna be stylish. Yes. Then you have High Rock, which is gonna have 96 luxury single story homes that range in size between 3623 to 3940 square feet mm. and their anticipated pricing is 1.6 million mm -hmm. and the floor plans they're going to have there is cliffside high crest and sky edge so those are huge single story homes yeah very huge and the last collection is the Crestline collection, and these are gonna be 104 two-story luxury homes um, with 22-foot great room ceilings that range in size wow. between uh, 4783 square feet to 4998 square feet. Luxury. Yeah, and their anticipated pricing is at 1.8 million. Okay. And they're gonna have the Rose Crest, the Summer Hill, and the Sun Crest. So funny thing is when uh, Mesa Ridge opened up back in, I think 2018-ish, they started at what, what? like seven, 800,000. Oh, of course, wow. So these two have doubled in price. So- Just a few years. Can you see my point? Mm -hmm. Is how much 
homes have appreciated or gone up in Las Vegas in the last few years, right? Um, now they say mountain views, city views. To me, it's an okay area. Um, I don't think it's that spectacular when it comes to views. What mm -hmm. do you think? The views, maybe not so much, but energetically feels very good there. Yeah, I They're mean, you clean. may have a house, if you have a two-story house that overlooks the backside of the Spring Mountain Range, mm -hmm. and you may have something, if you have a balcony, that looks to the city. But in my opinion, you can find much better homes over in the west side of Summerlin mm -hmm. because of the elevation of where it's at. Um, so don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to discourage you in this community. I'm just being honest. Yeah, pointing out the pros and the cons. Right. You, you know all of it. Yeah. And um, so time will only tell how it's going to really play out. Um, if you are interested in buying in this community, always mm -hmm. reach out to me first. Once you start registering and looking at the models before your agent does, that means I will not be able to represent you throughout the entire transaction or represent you at all. And I am free of charge, right? Very important. Um, it's important to have an agent that sells a lot of new construction, especially sells new construction in Summerlin with these well-known builders. You need a knowledgeable expert. Yeah. Angela's your person for that. Now, when they start doing the pre-selling and when they do start selling these homes, Toll Brothers, don't expect it to be done in a year. Toll Brothers, now when Mesa Ridge was around, they told them 15 months, and this mm. was even before COVID. So expect 12 plus months for the Toll Brothers. Pulte's is a little faster, depending on the size of the home. It could take over 12 months as well, but if you're buying the single story homes that are smaller, maybe not as long. So they're, I doubt that they're gonna have any move-in ready homes here because they're barely making it to the models. Right. Yeah, working on it right now. And Toll Brothers is often known for opening the community prior to even the model homes being completed. <laughs> and people love Toll Brothers, so they know what floor plan, and they'll just buy it regardless. They right? got a great reputation. Yeah. As I mentioned before, they are going to have community amenities, and the proposed amenities will be a resort-style swimming pool with lap mm -hmm. lanes. They're going to have a relaxing jacuzzi, expansive recreation area, an indoor great room with fireplace, a beverage bar with seating area, large outdoor terrace, social room and aerobic studio, fitness center with state-of-the-art fitness equipment, outdoor event lawn, Amazon parcel locker room, and <laughs> pickleball courts. So all of this sound very familiar to Mesa Ridge or Reverence. Mm -hmm. Very similar, right? They had a baby. It's called Ascension. <laughs> <laughs> if we hadn't mentioned before, Ascension is going to be in Summerlin South, mm -hmm. right off of Town Center and Tropicana on your way to the Mesa Village, right? Mm -hmm. It's a great little location. Beautiful spot. It is a very high-end location because right next to it, you have the summit. Mm -hmm. Right across the street. Yep. Too. Um, right behind it is Mesa Ridge. Mm -hmm. uh, semi next to that, you have trilogy summerlin then you have the ridges down the road and across the way you have sienna which is a 55 plus active adult retirement community mm -hmm. so that pocket of land has been vacant for many years so you can see why the hype of it is very exciting because people are excited to finally that land being built on right mm -hmm. a lot of hot a lot of big expectations for that spot yes lots of big expectations if you are thinking about buying in that community, you can always reach out to me at... Oh, I'm on. 702-370-5112. But most importantly, make sure, like we said in the beginning, hit that... Oh, that like button. And subscribe, 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 because I need to hit 10,000 by year's end. We can do it. We can do it. You can help me, right? We'll spread the love. Let me know in the comments if you're interested in this community or if you've driven down there, what you think of it. If you think the prices are crazy, we'd love to hear from you. Yes, please. Yeah. Anyway, folks, thank you guys so much for watching, and we can't wait to see you on the next one.